जैक निशेष तो कालमथावलंब जीवंती लोम विलजा जगदननाथ विष्णु महान स इूजस् कला विशेष गोविंदमादिपुरुष तम हम भजा जैक निशेष तो कालमथावलंब जीवंती लोम विलजा जगदननाथ विष्णु महान स इूजस् कला विशेष गोविंदमादिपुरुष तम हम भजा गौरी गोष्ठीपति गौरी गोष्ठीपति शिशिला भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी ठाकुर प्रभुपाद परमहंस जगत गुरु टोल्ड दैट ह्यूमन बींग्स वेन दे विल बी गोइंग टू वर्ड्स तर्क पंथा दे विल बी जस्ट टेकिंग द सपोर्ट ऑफ तर्क पंथा एंड दे विल बी मूविंग अहेड अप टिल दैट पॉइंट दे विल बी जस्ट गेटिंग डिस्टर्ब एंड दे विल बी जस्ट गेटिंग चीटेड इन देयर लाइफ बॉडी गोष्ठीपति शिशिल भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी ठाकुर प्रभुपाद परमहंस जगत गुरु टोल्ड दैट तर्क पंथा वैन यू विल बी गेटिंग द पैथ वे ऑफ दैट तर्क पंथा इफ यू विल टेक द सपोर्ट ऑफ दैट तर्क पंथा दैट गुरु तत्व इज गेटिंग डिस अपेयर एंड वैंक्विस्ट फ्रॉम आवर आइस दैट जस्ट गोइंग ऑन टू द पैथ वे ऑफ तर्क पंथा गुरु तत्व दे आर जस्ट बिकम डिस फ्रॉम आवर पैथ वे एंड ओनली that maya tatva will just appear in front of us this prabhupad actually speaking in front of us that up till that point the person the individual jiva they will be taking the support of tarka pantha they are actually taking that and they will be just getting cheated in their life up till that point up till that point they will be getting cheated that by tarka pantha by the, taking the support of tarka pantha guru tatva is just getting vanquished or disappeared prabhupad speaking this point it means that maya tatva it will appear in front of you definitely it is appeared in front of you definitely it will uh, distract you and disturb you more you will be getting more cheated prabhupad speaking that human beings whenever they will be taking the support of tarka pantha and they will be going ahead in the pathway of bhakti definitely in their life that guru darshan is not at all possible guru darshan is not at all possible at that point up till that point they will be getting the lagu darshan only the actual vani of guru pad padma only the actual vani of guru pad padma that the absolute truth what he is speaking from his lotus mouth just be getting out of that and you are just uh, there is no other other word apart from that you understood the point what i'm speaking that shri guru pad padma the lotus mouth what the actual transcendental words coming from his lotus mouth that absolute truth what he is speaking apart from that separately there is no kind of other uh, absolute truth can't be there at all like this is not at all possible guru pad padma the actual vani or by the satya absolute truth what he is speaking from his lotus mouth apart from that there is no other word you will be just getting away from the other things there can't be any other word possible in this material world or in infinity world that that's why this absolute truth that actual absolute truth that by that nishtha that act that this absolute truth by that nishtha in order to just test in our life in our life that that whatever is there inside our heart that kind of inside our heart that that kind of uh, reasoning and doubts and doubts and doubts and precisions are coming that is called tark pantha that is actually called tark pantha the pathway of tark arguments those who are actually are actually argumentative in their decisions and in speaking they are actually so much argumentative in their life tark they are taking tark they will be they are actually just disrespecting the guru pad padma those who are actually tark panthi they are actually they are actually disrespecting the uh, lotus feet of guru pad padma definitely it will be done only and only guru pad padma only and only guru pad padma is the 
that infinity uh, whatever argumentative or logics what is different different kind of uh, decisions what are coming Prabhupada always used to speak if some if some place where I will I we will be speaking in a Chintya Veda Ved Vad this is also very it is wrong to speak why because we have to speak Achintya Bhed Bhed Tattva, not Vad. It is not Vad, it is Tattva. Prabhupada used to speak that if you will be speaking Vad, then definitely some Vivad will be there. Opposite argumentation will be there. Prabhupada speaking that if you will be speaking this word Vad, there then definitely Vivad will also be there. Opposite word will also come in that. Vivad definitely will be there. So that's why we are speaking in our Gaudiya Siddhant that Vad, like that, it is not at all there. Vad is not at all there in our Gaudiya dictionary. It is easy to speak Tattva. That Vad is mo- communism, fascism, Marxism, what we are speaking. This is after that capitalism, and after that what you are speaking? Samrajyavad. And after that this word we are actually speaking so we don't have any kind of vad because if vad is there then vivad will definitely be so the actual siddhant what is there in that by speaking vad there is no word like vad this this is that if the siddhant is perfect then definitely vivad word will not at all come in that because definitely it will not be there so that's why the tattva word is used here so that's why That's why only and Guri, only Guru Padma. That's why only and only Guru Padma is is all the logical argumentatives, vad, vivad, whatever is there. He can just find the solution of all, of all the solutions he can find. He is the actual benefactor uh, of finding all the solutions of all the logics and arguments. There is no solution of uh, of um, material logics and arguments. Tarko apatishto sutayo vivinna. Nasho munir yasya matam na vinyam. Dharma satattam nito guhayam. Mahayano yeno gato sapanta. Tarko apatishto sutayo vivinna. In the way of Amnai, it means in the way of Amnai, it means that Shotapantha and the way of Amnai, that Shotapantha. In the pathway of Amnai, it means that Shrautapantha, in the way of Shrautapantha, that in the way of that pure pure pathway, that Param Absolute Truth, in it can be possible to understand that. In the way of Amnai, or maybe you can speak in Shrautapantha is all the same. Only and only that pure Absolute Truth can be understood onto the Vishuddha pathway that Param Sattva Vastu, we can understand that, All uh, definitely we can understand that. In order to, it is not at all, it is not subject to any amendment or transformation at all, because this is, it is absolute truth. Because Srila Vaman Goswami always used to speak that that Aprakrit Jagat, that Siddhant Vani or Tattva is there. This is, this is not at all subject to amendment. Like in parliament, there are some rules and regulations, there are some amendment can be there. Some rules and regulations they have done, it can be amended. But that transcendental world, the rules and regulations of the transcendental world, it, there is no word called amendment at all. That same, that uh, unchanged, un, uh, that, that same un, unchanged, uh, that same unchanged word, transcendental word, that topmost uh, benefactor, that is called Prabhupada. That is actually that unwantable, that unchanged or unamended word, that unamended word, 
that the actual benefactor of that unamended word that absolute truth that the actual uh, benefactor of that absolute truth that is called guru path padma prabhupad that is called guru path padma guru drohi those who are against guru dev who are totally against guru dev they in the name of guru seva they are all doing useless things they are actually those who are actually guru drohi these guru drohi in the in this material world all the time you can find them very cheap in the market it's very much disturbing to hear that the actual thing is that that those who are guru drohi that they are actually worshiped in this whole material world they are worshiped this very much uh, surprising to see this i'm very much amazed to see all this that those who are guru drohi who are against guru seva the actual symptom of guru drohi is that those who are not at all uh, in the pathway of guru dev that whatever guru dev has spoken that they are going just the opposite pathway they this is their actual rules they are going up to the opposite that the actual symptom of guru drohi that pure guru vishnu of what they have actual vichar is there they can't uh, uh, sustain that and they will not be taking that ach- shuddh aacharan of the pure guru tat that they are just like sweet knife in their very in their um, uh, in their pravachan they will be speaking like sweet knife because this is the only support of them just like a sweet knife they will be just speaking very sweet words that's it that shuddh bhakti siddhant they can't take that they cannot sustain in their life because they are guru trohi they want to just cut you with the sweet knife they will be just kicking of pure guru vishnu they will not be calling pure guru vishnu they are just going against their acharan just opposite acharan they will be doing what the pure guru vishnu are following this is the actual symptom of guru trohi guru trohi that with guru dev that no non cooperation they are doing all the time that guru drohi is uh, with his guru dev first he is doing non cooperation with his guru dev and after that and after that what he is doing that he is doing competition with his guru dev and means before that kind of unsupportiveness that non cooperation he will be doing and after that that pratyogita that competitive mood with competition he is doing with guru dev and after that third step he is going against direct confrontation with guru dev this is this is the actual symptom of guru drohi actual a naked picture of a guru drohi this is the actual naked picture of guru drohi this whole material world should go in vain all go to hell but if nobody actually wants to hear this all that okay let them go what i can do in that guru drohi that tarkanist inside the heart of that argumentative heart that prachar pranali what is there that is totally opposite prabhupad guru work that to- totally opposite what prabhupad and our guru were speaking whole world that they are actually just all f- cheater number 1 fraudster number 1 all the f- all people are actually just sacrificing their life on those of fraudster and cheater number 1 is so fraudsters number 1 they are actually all the material people are just giving their whole life into onto their uh, onto their feet they are sacrificing their life what i can do param puja bad keshav goswami mara always used to speak param puja bad keshav goswami mara used to speak that where that thing is not at all available that param puja keshav goswami mara used to speak this point be careful that where that particular object is not at all available there actually we are thinking that same thing we want to get that this kind of desire we have this is the actual disease of all people from there that place that thing will not be available that same thing they want to get it from that place only this kind of desire they have that is the actual disease of this whole material world what to do there actually no rupanug bhajan there there is no smell of rupanug bhajan but still there is no bhakti there but why you are going there why are you going to sacrifice your sacrifice your life there nothing is there at all keshav goswami mara used to speak this point all actually foolish number 1 they are following where actually where that thing is not at all available they are actually just going to take that thing they this kind of desire what they are having this is actually the biggest fault they have that is the topmost fault that is our topmost fault that 
that our whole life we have just sacrificed on to them that is the actual disease of mind what to do that all the uh, worldly people they are doing like that only that the that inside the heart of guru drohi that kind of logical argumentation what what kind of vichar is there inside him that guru drohi externally he is actually the servant of guru but actually he is not at all the servant i am actually speaking the truth in front of you guru drohi is that he is having that ku darshan all the time if you will be doing the darshan your life will become like a black history totally black your full present past future everything will become black your life will become like black what to do that guru drohi just to take inside his tarkanish to hirde what kind of uh, vichar is there that kind of guru avagya and shastra avagya apart from that the thing is there inside his heart apart from that just be careful about this point that guru avagya and shastra avagya opposition towards gurudev and shastra that inside the heart of a guru drohi that tarkanish to hirde is totally argumentative going against the pathway of gurudev it is there inside his heart you can understand the point i have told it when brahma ji when brahma ji was doing his following the tarkapantha he has taken the support of tarkapantha up till that point he cannot understand he just got cheated himself he can't understand from where i have actually gone and after that when brahma ji has that done atma swarpan onto lotus feet of bhagwan and speaking भगवान एक्चुअली स्पीकिंग टू ब्रह्मा जी एक्चुअली स्पीकिंग टू भगवान ब्रह्मा जी दिस स्पीकिंग इज दैट दैट जस्ट टू हैविंग दैट प्रयास ऑफ ज्ञान जस्ट टू टेक दैट ज्ञान एंड एवरीथिंग बाय माय ओन डिजायर इट इज नॉट ऑल पॉसिबल just need to leave that desire of getting that gyan how i will live this kind of desire also i am just uh, quitting that leaving that and that's just by taking the lotus feet of pure guru vishnu inside my heart and just taking the lotus feet on my head all the time hari katha hari kirtan i will be listening only by that i will get delivered that is brahma ji ne brahma ji up till that point after that namanti eva man sharan namanti eva man that just by getting full sharanagati onto lotus feet of uh, with all the sadhugans that kind of association i'll be getting that all hari katha kirtan i'll be listening from the pure mouth of the pure lotus mouth of guru vaishnav that kind of uh, pravritti towards bhagwan will definitely get uh, uh, transformed and definitely from the lotus mouth of pure guru vaishnav i have to hear hari katha hari kirtan all the time sab mandav sadhu just by getting their association means kirtan and hari katha from the lotus mouth of hari that what kind of that your pravachan from the lotus mouth of pure guru vishnu of that word glorification i'll be just listening that from the lotus mouth of pure guru vishnu and you are actually ajit your name is ajit you can never be conquered that you cannot get conquered by anyone you automatically that same person you are actually getting just arrested by all those devotees or automatically you are arrested that is the actual glorification that's why all the demigods that all the demigods they actually speaking to bhagwan the demigods have just came and speaking in front of bhagwan that with the when they will be just glorifying the womb of devaki at that time just be careful on this point whole life in infinity and infinity life periods that for infinity period if 
that kind of measuring which are will be having if we have to apply that measuring uh, which are that that scale measuring scale will be applying that tape will be applying just in order to get up till that point the darshan of pure guru vishnu is not at all possible why because pure guru vishnu and bhagwan can reserve the right of not being exposed to our sense organs just be careful on this point be attentive what i am speaking that's why that bhagwan on to your lotus feet by just taking the kripa of your lotus feet after just getting your kripa on to your lotus feet i can just glorify the lotus feet automatically it is getting glorified in front of us Now, otherwise tark pantha just by taking the pathway of tark pantha for infinity period that kind of tatva i cannot get to understand that it is not at all possible to understand that uh, tark pantha at all ब्रह्मा जी हैज डन आत्म समर्पण ऑलरेडी ऑन टू लोटस फीट ऑफ भगवान एंड ब्रह्मा जी हैज जस्ट बिकम टायर्ड एंड जस्ट बाई डूइंग तपस्या स्लोली स्टेडली भगवान इन द चतुश्लोकी भागवत हैज जस्ट डिस्क्राइब दैट एंड हैव जस्ट सीन हिज ट्रांसिडेंटल धाम एंड स्वरूप एंड वॉट इज हिज ट्रांसिडेंटल नेम एंड ऑल पैराफोर्नियस परिक्र एक्ट एवरीथिंग मावर इज मैनिफेस्टेड दैट इज कॉल्ड चतुश्लोकी भागवत भविष्या ट you just accept that i am going to speak after that bhagwan speaking yad roop gun karma ka tathaiva vigyanam asute madanu grah bhagwan ashirvad bhagwan actually just giving blessing to brahma ji speaking that how i am and what is my desire everything bhagwan has just manifested in front of brahma ji that what is my actually swarup leela gun roop everything paraphernalia i have just manifested in front of you just by my blessing only you can get to understand all the tatva it it will get manifested inside your heart that tatva gyan will get manifested automatically by my kripa now you just take that learning from me transcendental learning you can understand yesterday i was speaking up till this point i was not speaking this point that about shambhur linga that shloka that 9th and 10th that about shambhur linga i was discussing that shloka shambhur linga tatva 8th and 9th 8th and 9th shloka or oh, already done and after that in the 10th number shlok from up till 21st number shloka from the 10th number shlok up till 21st number shloka up till that that about creation tattva creation creation srishti tattva and garbhodakshai mahavishnu from there that saturajo and tamogun that kind of that saturajo and tamogun that upadashti tri devata that prajapati vishnu and rudra are actually manifesting that they are actually getting manifested about that we will get the brief description and after that what is the actual relation of the jivas with this uh, creation and this which are actually i am now discussing this actually we are discussing this in front of you now
now actually i'm discussing this yesterday i was actually discussing yesterday up till this point yesterday up till this point i have discussed what does it mean that i have already told you yesterday that same that same jagatpati that mahavishnu that infinity infinity heads infinity eyes infinity infinity arms infinity legs infinity toes infinity infinity ans and infinity avatars and he is the vishwatma and infinity infinity that uh, srishti is there creation is there of that same mahavishnu about this tatva i already yesterday discussed just touched it yesterday or regarding this what uh, important i haven't spoken i have already told in this regard that that brahma ji by that stuff he is he is doing the aradhana of bhagwan by that top transcendental stuff that is called that purusha shukta mantra this shloka what i am discussing that is in that tika in the commentary in gopal sahasranam commentary also jeev goswami pad has written in the all the commentators are speaking here that sahasra indicates infinity not 1000 just be careful this sahasra word here actually it is indicating infinite just be careful and just try to understand this point just be careful on this point the all the commentators they are actually speaking that this sahasra this is one indication towards infinity why because if otherwise the opposite kind of thing will come in our vichar the some uh, fault will come in our vichar how like like agar aapka if yours you have thighs and thousands of heads if you have thousands of heads you have thousands of heads if you have 1000 thousands of heads you have then definitely your eyes will be 2000 no yes it will be so if the actual literal meaning you are going to make just be careful that if you are making a literal meaning that you want to get the actual literal meaning of the this word then definitely it is wrong conception how like sahasra shirisha what actually speaking that who has 100000 of heads then definitely his uh, eyes will be actually double it will be 2000 but it doesn't mean what the actual word is there the actual commentator is speaking that here sahasra means infinity that it has infinite there is no limit to that so You can understand now what I am speaking. The actual meaning of this is that. The actual meaning is that. That same. Parat parakileshwar. The actual meaning is that. the actual meaning of this is that 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 topmost sarva vedas that he is actually mahavishnu which is glorified by all the vedas bhagwan himself speaking this point so 
So the actual uh, meaning of this is that that same Sarvaved, that topmost glorified object that is Mahavishnu. About that we have already discussed in the starting also about the, by starting that reciting that shloka. What that shloka is? The actual meaning is that that all the Sarva Vedas who are actually glorified is actually Mahavishnu only by which is glorified by all the Vedas that is Mahavishnu and that infinity is the cause of all causes infinity Brahmand that Anantkar and Vishishta and that topmost avatars of all the avatars is coming from Mahavishnu only and just in order to just uh, understand this Siddhant more accurately and deeply we will be just uh, making efforts to do that here the actual thing is that which that exil by exhalation and inhalation by that by exhalation and inhalation that they are actually accepting the Vedas he is actually accepting the air it means he is taking inhaling the air and he is just exhaling the air exhalation and inhalation of the Shastras the only two meanings can be there out of that you can make that is the actual meaning you can make out of that Exhalation and inhalation. It means that this Nishwas and Prasas, that what Mahavishnu is doing, exhaling and inhaling process, here in that process, it is actually written. Here actually it is written that Bhagwan, that by his ex inhalation, exhalation, that infinity Brahmans are getting uh, manifested. And just by the inhalation of uh, inhalation of Bhagwan Mahavishnu, that infinity uh, Brahmans and creation is just getting inside Bhagwan. That infinity Srishti uh, creation will just get manifested inside the heart of Bhagwan. Inside Bhagwan, it aut automatically goes. This this actually means that, and. Just by at the time of exhalation up to that point, that infinity Brahman it is actually getting manifested in front of us, and after that, it is going inside Mahavishnu. Again, it is going inside Bhagwan Mahavishnu. Jagadandanatha means that cabinet minister Bhagwan in this material world that in Indri is actually the uh, lord of heaven uh, Bhagwan has given that duty and Varun has been becoming the lord of water and Vayu Devata he is becoming the lord of air he has given the responsibility of air air tattva and uh, Barun Dev is actually becoming the lord of air Barun Dev and Agni Dev becoming the lord of fire and individual cabinet ministers the Bhagwan is having that according to our system that even in our cabinet in the ministry it is going on in the same manner Bhagwan is also divided and categorized that ministry system so you can understand like this that all up till what point how they can just be uh, up till what span of time they will be becoming cabinet up till that the, this the desire of Bhagwan is there that all this material world they all they are actually becoming the lord of all they are, they are thinking that they are masters but they are nothing
that same Govin, I am actually just uh, thinking and and speaking, glorifying him, who is the actual uns. I am actually the uns and uns of that Kalavishesh Govinda. I am just glorifying him. Very surprising and amazed to hear and see all this. That all the demigods at that time they can do like that. Up till uh, apart from that, they can't do like that. Like the case in the present uh, yuga that Indra is there. In the next manvantra, definitely he will. Uh, our Bali Maharaj will be getting that cabinet position of Indra. That he will become the Lord of Heaven. Bali Maharaj will become the Indra and he will take the kingship of Indra and will, will be the Lord of Heaven, Bali Maharaj. So this which are what actually is made. So, so those demigods who are actually just um, being made cabinet ministers, definitely when they will be getting their lifespan over that span is over then they just need to uh, get uh, retired from that position this is that Karnana Dakshai Mahavishnu, that is we can see. That same Karnana Dakshai Mahavishnu, that same Karnana Dakshai Mahavishnu, that same Karnana Dakshai Mahavishnu, that we, who is that Karnana Dakshai Mahavishnu. From that Karnana Sahi Mahavishnu, then infinity Brahman is getting manifested. And whatever avatars we can see, that what avatars each and every Brahman we can see, that avatar means that in this Brahman what kind of avatar has manifested up till now. And that avatar, which that all those avatars, this is the who is the actual Adya avatar of all the avatars, that all the infinity avatars. That who is the actual Adya Avatar? That all infinity Avatar, this is, this is the actual Adya Avatar. Govinda. So, this actual, the actual purport or actual meaning is that, that all the Vedas, those who are actually glorifying that Mahavishnu, that inside, that for infinity that who is actually infinity transcendental power is there who has infinity power inside him that same Mahavishnu that who is the cause of all the avatars after that this which are actually is coming that I have already told you Shastashisha means that with having infinity heads, infinity eyes, otherwise the vichar will get totally wrong. Wrong conception will come in our vichar. Finite conception will come. So that is the actual meaning. After that, in the twelfth number shloka, just be careful on this point what actually it's written here
सौ भगवान सौ भगवान मीन्स सौ भगवान मीन्स दैट सेम भगवान दैट सेम महाविष्णु इट मीन्स दैट ही इज द एक्चुअल मूल संकर्षण इज गेटिंग मैनिफेस्टेड एज अ प्रकाश विग्रह दैट परम ब्रह्म वैकुंठ अंश ऑफ दैट प्रकाश विग्रह ऑफ दैट मूल संकर्षण दैट इज द एक्चुअल हु इज जस्ट टेकिंग अवतार दैट इज द एक्चुअल That is actually the if he is from in that uh, the material world he's uh, just kind of which are we can make that his name is Narayan that the uh, material person individual will be uh, depending on the name as Narayan of that same Bhagwan. That same Samaan Mahavishnu. Hai, what does it mean actually? That same Mahavishnu in the material Narayan. creation is just hmm. taking the name as Narayan. It is actually signified by that in this material creation, in this material world. That same Sanatan Purush from that same Sanatan Purush. That from that same Sanatan Purush. That in the Karna Samudra, that water actually is getting. Uh, getting manifested paro pramasto sankar sanansho paro pramasto sankar sanansho isi sahasrangsho that by this sahasrangsho that param purush bhagwan isme jo nidra gato in that he is actually is just uh, having the transcendental uh, sleeping in that yog nidra swarup that same mahavishnu in that material creation taking the name of narayan is getting title as narayan in this material creation and that same sanatan from that same sanatan purush that from same that same sanatan purush that karan samudra the karan ocean is getting manifested and and param prasto sankarshan from from this sankarshan param purush bhagwan it means that who is just taking a yog nidra and is just having a transcendental sleep on that karan ocean if again i will be just discussing it and after that i'll be going to the next shloka केयरफुल ऑन दिस पॉइंट इट मीन्स दैट दैट दिस महाविष्णु ईच एंड एवरी हेयर फॉलिसल दैट हेयर टिप्स एंड हेयर फॉलिसल ऑन द बॉडी that mahavishnu's each and every hair follicle on the body that it infinity brahmands are there inside the hair follicle of uh, transcendental hair follicle of mahavishnu that each and every hair follicle there are infinity brahmands inside mahavishnu and in that hair follicle of mahavishnu that sankarshan that chit peach that chit seed transcendental seed of that infinity brahmand are actually there in the form of seeds mahavishnu ka that mahavishnu that uh, in that uh, creation process that sankarshan that uh, chid beech that transcendental seed which you can find there that infinity brahmands like infinity seeds are there in that sankarshan 
You can find that. And and all that infinity, that Brahman, that that you cannot understand that in Hindi, that is a golden egg. Hiranyagarb, you can speak. This is a golden egg. That same golden egg. It means it's not like a and and means it's just like a shape of an egg. But that Brahman is actually just compared with that egg. Why? Because in this uh, about this in Brahma Kataho, that's why getting destruction of that Brahma Kataha, that it is coming from that Karan Ocean. That's why it is written like this. So this Hayamand at the time of destruction, this actually in actual it is not like a golden egg. It the inner meaning of that you just need to take that up. You understand the point what I'm speaking. It means what what it actually written here that Mahavishnu on the hair folly cell of Mahavishnu that Sankarshan that infinity transcendental seeds of uh, infinity Brahman is actually present there that in that same Brahman that by that Mahabhut it is actually getting manifested Mahabhut it is getting manifested eternally Mahabhut Puram there is one place one one place is there in South India Mahabhut Puram that the actual Avirbha place of uh, Madhvacharya, that is Mahabhut Puram. You just, I just need to see that, just to get the confirmation. And uh, this actually, the actual uh, conclusion of this is that, the actual conclusion of this is that, that, uh, that Karanava means Karan, Karan Ocean. There, in that Karan Ocean, Bhagwan is actually there, that kind of uh, uh, Adipurush actually in a sleeping uh, sleeping posture and this kind of activities he is doing there it means that in the Karan ocean that those that Adya Purusha Avatar this kind of activities or this which are you just will become amazed and surprised to see that why? because Karn, in the Karan ocean that in the in the Karan ocean that Adya Purush, that it's so much uh, huge that thing is, that this kind of Swarup you cannot be seeing that. So much Brihat, so much topmost uh, expansion of uh, the his Swarup is that, that in each and every hair follicle of his, that kind of transcendental seed is getting manifested there, of that infinity Brahmand. And that same Brahmand, that of the transcendental world, that it is the actual Anukaran of the transcendental world. That same Brahmanda. That you can see that Brahmand everywhere. And those infinity transcendental Brahmands you can see onto the transcendental hair folly cell of Mahavishnu. That of that transcendental world. That it is the actual Anukaran of the transcendental world. Up till that point, that Purushavatar, that body is there of that Purushavatar. Up till that point, that Purushavatar's transcendental body is there. Up till that point, that Chidabha Swarup. It looks like a golden egg, not like that. But it's not like that. At the same time, at the same time Mahavishnu's, at the same time, at the same time, Mahavishnu's that kind of uh, creation uh, just to make this creation that kind of uh, sankalp what is the Mahavishnu is taking in order to create this material world that Nitya and Upadan Ansh that kind of thinking is coming into Mahavishnu what actually it's telling that that same Mahapurush 
with that kind of sankalp to just create this material creation that nitya and upadan ansh it means that in the mahabhut kan that bhut is sukshmansh that is very fine ansh and they are actually just making them more avrit more attractive that mahavishnu that kind of uh, gradual uh, creation material creation this kind of uh, sankalp he is taking that maik is the actual uh, uh, nimit upadan ansh he is taking that into conclusion and bhut is the sukshma ansh he is actually doing all the time and with that purush this kind of all activities that high mand that golden egg is actually is externally coming out that kind of external layer of golden egg comes out and after that 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 it is actually going inside the inner womb of the maya devi after that and after that it is just getting a outer covering like a golden egg it it seems like a golden egg but it's not like that and after that when you go ahead in that by following that process we can just can get the we can get this kind of vichar then after that in the 14th number shloka and up till this 21st shlok this kind of uh, uh, secrecy of the creation will be going on and the actual uh, glorification of this material creation will go on what actually it's written there महाविष्णु इज एक्चुअली गेटिंग मैनिफेस्टेड इन ईच एंड एवरी सिंगल ब्रह्मांड यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड द पॉइंट वन स्पीकिंग Slowly and steadily, I will be just reading it. Mevam ekangsha 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 de kangshad vishati swam. क्या होता है? What check? What what is written here? Mek mevo क्या लिखा है? What check? What what is written here? Mevam pratyandam pratyandam evam In each and every अंश it means that महाविष्णु is actually taking different different kind of manifestations and स्वरूप and is getting manifested in each and every स्वरूप्स individually. This Mahavishnu that is getting manifested in and every Brahman. It is getting manifested in each and every Brahman, and in each and every Brahman, Brahman after getting manifestation there, it means that Garbo Dakshai Mahavishnu. it is getting manifested there in each and every brahmand you understand the point that same sanatan mahavishnu who is infinity master of infinity world that infinity infinity forms he is taking and getting manifested in infinity brahmand so in each and every brahmand separately he is actually for the master of infinity brahmand and still he just get separately manifesting himself in infinity brahmands like that so the actual meaning is that 
दैट इज सनातन महाविष्णु स्वरूप कंक्लूजन आई ऑलरेडी टोल्ड यू हेयर सहस्त्र मीन्स दैट इन्फिनिटी इट्स नॉट वन थाउजेंड हेयर एक्चुअली इट इज कंक्लूडेड लाइक दैट इट इज एक्चुअल अंश ऑफ महासंकर्षण सो कारण दक्षाई He is actually just getting a rest there in Kar Karan Ocean, and it is actually the Ansh of Mahavishnu. And in that, from that infinity Brahman, what actually is going uh, out from him? This Brahman, that same Brahman, in each and every Brahman, that Swayam Anshwarup actually is getting manifested himself there, and each and every Brahman, that that kind of Ansh or a part. That Garbo Dakshayi Mahavishnu, he is getting manifested in each and every part of this infinity material creation, and it is just the Sanatan portion of that Mahavishnu. This is the actual portion of that Mahavishnu. That same, you can speak the all omnipresent and omnipotent Supreme Lord. That same Ansh, what I am talking here, that Adi Purush, you can speak that. So whatever be the case, and after that, this Garbo Dakshayi Vishnu, I will be just telling you in more upfront about this in details. That same Garbo Dakshayi Vishnu, that Brahma actually is getting from the navel portion of that same Mahavishnu. That is Garbo Dakshayi Mahavishnu because in each and every one, that Garbo Dakshayi Vishnu individually is present there, and this Garbo Dakshayi Mahavishnu. Is actually uh, there in the Kheer Sagar, in the Kheer Ocean inside this Brahman. Inside this ocean, there is one Kheer Sagar, Kheer Ocean. Inside this ocean, there is one Kheer Sagar. You can understand, you know the that in that same Kheer Sagar, that all those demons and uh, or Devaki, Devaki Maya, in order to protect Devaki Maya, actually just started crying. and she is feeling very uh, uh, disappointed that this that same brahma ji just uh, that our brahmand brahmand mali uh, that our brahmand brahma ji he is actually de- taking all the demigods and just going to the kheer sagar there at the end of kheer sagar he is coming and he is speaking the purushottam mantra and has done a lot of penances and austerities at that point and after that that kind of uh, uh, voice coming from the sky that this same kheer sagar in our brahmand only i am speaking that in this kheer sagar that anirudh mahavishnu is actually uh, transcendently present the first point that karna karna dakshay mahavishnu is there and after that from karnal sai mahavishnu he is actually manifested in each and every brahman and is getting the form of garbo dakshay mahavishnu and after that in this our brahman that there is one kheer sagar and in this kheer sagar that anirudh mahavishnu is actually who is actually the antaryami of all the jivas that all the jivas which we can find in this in, in this brahman it is actually the antaryami purush inside each and every one heart in the form of parmatma actually manifesting himself in each and every heavy everybody's heart you understand the point what i'm speaking now so he is actually the all uh, all knowing uh, omnipresent and omnipotent parmatma inside the heart of everyone and it is the actual ansh of mahavishnu which you can speak the adi swarup of that mahavishnu mul sankarshan and after that you understand the point what i'm speaking ज्योतिर्लिंगमयोदेशाद You understand the point what I am speaking. That same Mahavishnu, 
that from the that from the uh, lotus navel that vishnu and from his southern end that from the kurch that from the kurch means that eyebrow portion eyebrow to inside that middle portion there is uh, there is one space that is called kurch swar kurch space you just uh, hear it very nicely and carefully and after that that same mahavishnu uh, from his uh, warm portion that from the left hand part vishnu then from the southern part from the right hand part from the southern part that prajapati is getting manifested that abhuruddhay that the actual seed in the seed form it is actually present and that jyotirling shambhu is actually manifested what i have already told you before regarding that asriyat vishnu dakshinangat prajapatim jyotirlingo mayam shambhu kurchodishat avasriyat ho gaya and the actual meaning of this i will am actually describing this in brief that the actual conclusion of this portion what i am speaking is that that vasti antaryami khiru dakshai mahavishnu vasti antaryami that the all knowing omnipresent and omnipotent khiru dakshai mahavishnu that is taking the form of hiranyagarbha and is taking the form of hiranyagarbha that prajapati swarup he is taking who is take, getting out of the navel portion of that mahavishnu that it is it is just different conception of the chaturvihu brahma that hiranya garbha that for each and every uh, brahma it is the actual cause you can't get confused in that so that's why i'm just repeating it again that vesti antaryami khiru dakshai mahavishnu do which i have already told you that in each and every brahmand that khir sagar khir ocean is there that anirudh vishnu that anirudh vishnu is actually is the uh, uh, present in the j- heart of every jeevas and he is that vasti antaryami that i have already told you before of the garbha dakshai mahavishnu that garbha dakshai mahavishnu that he is samasti antaryami that inside heart of everyone as parmatma he is present that he is the actual antaryami of all the jeevas and here khiru dakshai mahavishnu is he is in the khir sagar he is actually just uh, in a sleeping posture he is resting there and and in inside each and every jiva in the form of parmatma he is actually getting manifested that's why his name is besti in sanskrit knowledge you don't have then you can't understand this what i'm speaking vasti and samasti there is two common words of sanskrit you have follow the point individual and submission one is samasti antaryami submission and vasti means that in inside individual jeevas it is getting individually going there it is actually not surprising at all what i am speaking it is just a straight forward thing so vasti antaryami khiru dakshai purush he is actually shri vishnu only and in the form of hiranya garbha in the form of hiranya garbha that it is the possibility of the creation that in which all kind of uh, the effect and the cause of this creation is there so that hiranya garbha swarup bhagwan is actually prajapati that brahma he is that our chaturmukh brahma what we are actually speaking that it is actually not at all similar to that chaturmukh brahma that same hiranya garbha that same hiranya garbha who is that that kind of infinity brahmand that hiranya garbha that bhagwan is speaking about that title prajapati that same hiranya garbha that it is the actual cause of all the tattva beej of the brahma that it means that each and every brahma of a different brahmand on different different brahmands in different different brahmands brahma are coming 
It is the actual seed tattva, the actual mool tattva of all the Brahmas. It is the actual major tattva of all the Brahmas. And Chaturmuk Brahma means it is of far creation. And Chaturmuk Shambhu, that Adi Linga Swarup Shambhu, which I have already told you previously, that this Jyotir Langa actually is Shambhu, this is Shambhu Linga Tattva. And Adi Swarup Shambhu, which I have already told you before, how actually Mahavishnu, after take seeing Mahavishnu, that uh, Shamburlinga is getting associated with the Prakriti and the whole uh, creation, material creation is getting manifested and that whole infinity Brahman is getting manifested out of that. And this Jyotirlingma is Shambhu, what we can see, that is the actual Mool Tattva. And uh, Adi Lingu Shambhu, what we can see, it is uh, the actual the Prabhut Prakash of the Adi Linga Shambhu, which I have already told you previously that Adi Rup Shambhu, it is the Prabhut Prakash of that. Prabhuto Prakash. Vishnu, Mahavishnu's, that is the Saransha Tattva. That Vishnu, what I have already told you, that in the first shloka, that. Uh, that shriti, shrishti sthiti and pralay that creation maintenance and destruction Brahma, Vishnu and Mahesh are actually given the role for that this I have already told you previously that Mahavishnu's vam that from the left hand from left portion and from the southern portion is getting prajapati and in between the eyebrows that portion is there from there in between that that Jyotir Lungamai Shambhu is getting manifested and this I will be actually will be discussing it now that Vestiantarayami Khirudusai Vishnu is the actual Vishnu and Hiranyagarbha Bhagavat Ansha that is the actual it is actually uh, diff, uh, different from Chaturmuk Brahma and this uh, Hiranyagarbha actually that it is the actual seed of all the Brahma Tattva and after that when you will be go forward then it is speaking that Jyotir Lingma Shambhu, what we can see, that is the actual Mool Tattva, that Adi Linga, Adi Linga Shambhu, that Prabhutva of the Adi Linga Shambhu, that just, it's just like a, it's just like a clear expression. And now we can see about Mahavishnu that Saran Shatattva, I have already told you regarding that as well, that Saran Shatattva of Mahavishnu it is. It means that the whole Sarva Maheshwar, that Prajapati and Shambhu, that Tattva I have already told you. And Prajapati and Shambhu, this actually, it is actually coming from Mahavishnu only. You haven't understand what I am speaking. Just be careful and attentive. This Siddhant, it is who is have, having that topmost Siddhant inside his heart. Only he can understand. Otherwise, they will be just hearing like air and it will just blow like air. That's it. What is the actual thing? How to treat that thing? That Vishnu, this is a ordinary Siddhant which I am speaking in front of her. That in Vishnu Stotra, it is actually the Saransha Tattva Mahavishnu. There are two tattva in this material world. There is a Saranch and Vibhinansh. In, Vib- in Vibhinansh, Jeev tattva also comes. You understand the point? That Vishnu and Mahavishnu, this is the actual Saranch tattva. And Sarv Maheshwar and Prajapati and Shambhu. It is the actual Saranch tattva of Mahavishnu. It is Vibhinansh. It comes in Vibhinshat. It doesn't come in Saranshanch. It comes in Vibhinansh. It means that Adhikarik Dev Vishesh, that Mahavishnu, it is comes in the form of Vibhinansh. That is Adhikari. That, that kind of uh, stability and that kind of eligibility it is giving. That Adhikar or eligibility he is getting transformed into that. So this Mahavishnu actually is the Vibhinansh of that. And this is Adhikarik in the Demigods. It is uh, present there. 
that his own power it is just going into the left portion of mahavishnu this is the actual rules so whatever shakti will be there it is just stay in the maya only so that shriya shakti it is there in the uh, maya portion and that's why that uh, chit shakti of mahavishnu it is actually uh, beyond shuddha sakta and in the vam ang portion of vishnu it is already present transcendentally there why because vishnu is that in the form of ishwar it is getting inside the heart of each and every individual jiva as the uh, in the form of antaryami and paramatma in the vedas what we are actually speaking that uh, brahmast matrapur purush we are actually titled we are getting titled that thing in front of all and everyone pradesh pradesh jantyo pradesh you understand pradesh no idea about what we i am speaking pradesh means that our that our our hands are there no in that that angusht that our middle finger from up till the index finger you just need to extend that and at that time that place what particular place will come that is called that is called that is pradesh matra that is the pradesh and in bhagavatam also it is written and in the vedas actually it is speaking angusht matra like just like a thumb so bhagwan actually is antaryami and bhagwan actually is just getting busy in maintaining each and every one each and every jeevas and all those karmi jeevas they they are actually just worshiping bhagwan as yogeshwar and narayan that all those karmis those who are karma kandi those karma kandi people they are actually calling yogeshwar and narayan as bhagwan they are calling him like with these names and these all the yogis they are actually speaking that parmatma and they are getting that samadhi and all the time just focusing on that parmatma tatva you understand the point what i am speaking now that very much desire if you have only then you can understand this idha and if you have guru kripa then you can understand the all so this uh, the next shloka which it is there the 16th number shloka in that actually it is written when next i will be discussing it in maybe next week i will just show you that by purushottam mantra what kind of in depth vichar is there in that it is the actual vichar of vedas only that it is actually coming from the transcendental mouth of brahma that at the time of abhishek purush purushottam mantra we are speaking that maha mantra also somewhere actually it is written there that by panch tatva also you can do that that by ma- my maha mantra that about radha govind you can do but still purushottam mantra is very much important because brahma ji adi etc he is the adi purush and he has done that so that's why we just need to follow brahma brahma ji our adi guru regarding this so this this kind of false ego so actual in depth meaning is that that with the material creation tatv it is actually uh, connected with that so that from this shambhu only from the same shambhu tasmat means the uh, next shloka what it is written there that from this shambhu that ahankaratmak to- total f- egoistic swarup that it is getting manifested what does it mean actually the actual meaning is that that the in the relationship to jivas that the actual kriya of all the sh- of the shambhu is that that from that shame shambhu that uh, that uh, false ego is getting manifested from that of this material creation what we can see that in the connection in relationship to jivas 
the actual uh, thing the actual uh, point of shambhu is that that's from same shambhu that this kind of false ego tattva is getting manifested what do you mean by that in a conclusive way what is the actual conclusion just be careful on that that at the at the starting of this material creation you can't just get uh, dislodged what is the interpretationship in regarding that what some vichar is coming inside you and you are actually the i'll be just opening one business this kind of idea is coming in you so after that you are actually going ahead by that is called entrepreneurship what kind of forward steps you are doing to do that particular business but inside your heart there is atma and that that outer covering of that atma is the uh, fine body and then there is a very uh, that gross body is there made of five elements it means that that inside kind of that chetan pradarth that atma if it will not stay then because it is all matter it definitely going to destroy but be careful on the point that may be atma that you have there is no touch of any matter but still on this that what covering outer covering we can find that kind of uh, sukshma body that fine body and subtle gross body that man buddhi chit and ahankar that from infinity period it is going on you understand the point what i am speaking so if that transcendental atma is not at all there then entrepreneurship is not at all possible how it is possible that idea can come of entrepreneur entrepreneurship so he is chinmay atma that's why and uh, that outer covering of maya is there on him that covering is there that's why this kind of entrepreneurship is coming but the actual in depth which are is there that chetan mein atma if it will not stay then definitely then the who will do the actual business for that kind of desire to do business that kind of uh, that free will of atma is all the time there but the actual condition is that that just because of the outer covering of maya here here actually it is written that uh, i have done this i have done this business i have just made this thing this building so this word we just need to carefully understand this word that by having this false ego that i have done this you just need to quit that if that shambhu who is the actual uh, chief operator of tamugun by his own will because shambhu is actually paramahans but he has that duty so it is the actual uh, uh, introduction of that uh, egoistic thoughts that it means that the prakriti or prakriti devi and purush if they if will not stay then this material creation is not all possible to do prakriti and purush when they will combine each with each other then only this creation will be done so in that uh, the all chetan atma is not at all there then this whole material creation is all uh, of uh, rubbish that this me and mine conception and this false ego if will stay inside our heart then this kind of creation will not be possible if it is not there that this and mine conception if it will not stay and this false ego will not get introduced in say heart of jeevatma then this creation is not at all possible this is the actual duty of shambhu that same shambhu that from same shambhu that all that uh, uh, tamasik uh, tatva has just got introduced i am just speaking in a very uh, brief way in front of you not a descriptive manner so the actual reason behind this is that the actual conclusive thing is that in the mool tatva that bhagavat tatva the th- main thinking is that in the mool tatva that bhagavat tatva that it is uh, non different if some kind of uh, non different uh, ego should not get spread it so the actual thinking is that in the mool tatva that means in the bhagavat tatva that different kind of uh, sarva aswarjamai that cannot get manifested there and in the maya jagat that in, in different different kind of uh, uh, 
the diversified egoistic thoughts and egoistic mood is there. I will again speak this point, that Mool Tattva, that Bhagavad Tattva, that kind of, uh, that one Tattva is there regarding that. And in this material world, that, that different, different kind of false ego in the form of Linga, it means that it is Chinna, Ch- Linga means Chinna. It is just getting manifested that this is mind. So this mind and mind conception comes. And in this material world, those who are without any kind of false ego are just... It is actually getting manifested from that Linga, Tattva. It is all the same. And this actually when the uh, Prithak Tattva, non-different Tattva, by that Shuddha Sattva, it is just the shadow reflection of that Shuddha Sattva. It is a justice, Shuddha Sattva of that uh, uh, shadow portion, that uh, Maik Pratifalan. It means that, that same Adi Swarup, this uh, in Adi Swarup, at that point, that Shambhu is only it is becoming a Upadan Tattva at that time at that time when he is getting all the responsibility what I have told you previously if if your link is getting lost then everything will be get lost you can't understand the point in this material world those that Mool Tattva, Bhagavad Tattva when you will become non-different from that Tattva that sarva sarva may pantatva is there but when you come to this maya world which is actually non-different that kind of ling that kind of manifestation is done that same that original shuddha sattva pratifalan you can see it is actually that only this i have already told you which is that this is the actual maya pratifalan or shuddha sattva and in that Adi Shambhu Swarup, that it is actually Vishnu Tattva. In that Adi, Adi Shambhu Swarup, that kind of uh, it is getting manifested in the Brahma Tattva. You understand the point what I am speaking? Lot of infinity jivas you can find, and it is getting that Rama Devi, that is the Mool uh, Devi, that Antaranga Shakti, it is actually just a shadow reflection what you can see in this material creation. <coughs> And inside that womb, it is getting uh, uh, injected there and uh, taken birth out of that same Prakriti. And at the same time, Shambhu, that it is becoming an instrumental Tattva. It, it is considered as a matter. All the ingredients what we are actually seeing in uh, that, that kind of creation, introduction of creation, that same Sangha. That is becoming the Grahat Upadan Tattva. But at the same time, that Tattva Vigyan, gradually it is coming towards up. And in each and every Brahman, it is just getting uh, manifested. Up till that point, that from between the two eyebrows, that Shambhu Tattva which is getting uh, manifested. That this kind of Shambhu Tattva also in that Shambhu Tattva also that kind of uh, glorification and so so that's why original Sangha is very much important <coughs> in each and every situation that Shambhu Tattva in each and every situation Shambhu Tattva maybe in each and every situation Shambhu Tattva means that kind of false ego will definitely be there because this is mean and mine this kind of by this material creation is not at all possible you tell me that if i am not at all taking anything in my life and i am get, getting this kind of vichar all the time then definitely that kind of uh, uh, creation process will not go ahead in this condition that brahmaji even in the seven births also first time he got the manas janma and after this different different gems of brahmaji has been done and after that when that kind of three purush conception comes at that point srishti is actually material creation is getting so much faster exponentially you understand the point in that they who don't have any kind of false ego but still he is actually doing karma that is not at all possible 
he that only by mahapurush only he can just uh, rectify this thing darshan so if you have that false ego inside your heart then definitely whatever you will do definitely whether some scientist is doing something or whosoever is doing something that even the master is doing something they are driven by their false ego apart from that nothing will happen that adi shambhu when we have actually discussed it yesterday that from adi shambhu that infinity brahmand is getting manifested and that seed is coming it means that uh, that dravya upadan tattva and when that tattva vikas is getting going slowly steadily in each and every brahmand then each and every brahmand that from the eyebrow that what is actually getting manifested that is called prajapati that from the thai from the eyebrow in between that that shambhu tattva what we are seeing that is actual thing actual tattva but the shambhu tattva and the other shambhu tattva it looks all the same but this is actually has came from the original source and whatever uh, gun and qualities are there about rudra tattva it is getting manifested but still each and that mool shambhu tattva is there or otherwise it is a mool uh, shambhu tattva that's why in each uh, shambhu tattva that kind of false ego will definitely be there inside them that parmatma chit kiran that parmatma chit kiran which is actually manifested and that kind from infinity uh, jeevas they are actually they are actually thinking this kind of false ego that i am the they their material creation relationship will just get destroyed when they will be finding their relationship with bhagwan eternally you understand the point what i'm speaking that parmatma maybe in gita already it is told parmatma is also krishna so that from the chit glands of the parmatma that which is infinity brahmand swarup jeevas they are actually getting this kind of ego that they are actually servant of bhagwan and when they will go forward then definitely they will get out of this material body uh, otherwise it's not possible to get that a transcendental conception so he will definitely go to that vaikunth platform automatically when he will be just removing the maya so this kind of false ego when you will be re- removing that that i am krishna das this kind of thinking when will be there the actual ego that this abhiman what i have already told that kind of topmost pure abhiman that i am krishna das brahma ji speaking that i am the das of ram ji so this kind of topmost pure ab- abhiman for the topmost ego that kind of curtain of maya will automatically will get opened when you want to enjoy a maya devi that same shambhu that that same shambhu that to get to entry into that shambhu tattva that that kind of ahankar tattva it is getting manifested into that and after that just completing all the tattva and understanding it then he comes back when that shuddha sattva mai abhiman that i am actually the eternal uh, that eternal swarup i have with my krishna and when he is actually becoming the doer and mindship of with maya that same shambhu that kind of ahankar tattva they are actually they will be just destroying and vanquishing them that i am this different jiva and i am this different jiva so this kind of conception will not get catch the battle so they are actually just presenting in the form of bhakti so that's it you understand the point what i am speaking so i will be just speaking it again so that same abhiman that, that kind of shloka if i am removing or disremembering then uh, i have that same shambhu tattva that ahankar tattva what is coming it is already already there actually present eternally inside them and when that uh, uh, when it actually it is getting manifested 
that each and every jeevatma thinking uh, themselves individually that they are the doer and mind so i am actually i am the master you are actually different ma- uh, master so this kind of uh, uh, division attitude and when by just dividing it in two pieces it is actually showing that and different different kind of bhakti we can see out of that so there is one building there and uh, that he is she is my wife she is not her wife so everything is actually all actually foolish number 1 so this shambhu tatva ahankar tatva that uh, is getting into each and every jiva and kind of false ego is getting manifesting each and every one and they are is just putting in each and every platform that's why he is doing drama so that same shambhu ahankar atmak vishya and he is the actually the mool tatva of all the jivas so this shambhu tatva is the actual ahankar atmak and for all the jivas it is the topmost for, for all the jivas different different jivas that kind of mike that material dhyatma dhiman that for ego of that material creation that i'll be just describing it that again so that you can can that uh, you can understand this ahankaratmak ahankaratmak vishwam ahankaratmak vishwam tasmat vajayata ahankaratmak vishwam tasmat etak vajayata dwara patkar again i will be just discussing it vishwam tasmat etak up till this point i'll be discussing it today because you can't understand it completely and externally you are actually just thinking that so that's why it is very much difficult to understand but still it's very easy to understand that i've already told you i'm just telling you maybe it is difficult that though but still you can understand that if guru kripa is there जसैक निशेषि कालमथावलंबो जीवंती लोम बिलजा जगदंडनाथ विष्णुर्महान स इहो जस्सु कलाशेषो गोविंदमादिपुरुषम तम अहम भजा यहाँ तक चर्चा का विश्राम दे क्षमा करे मांचा कल्पतरु से कृपा सिंधु विवश पतितान पावन भो वैष्णव्यो नमो नमः